the time, I've put her through her paces to become um, as good as what she is. So Hannah is a trained makeup artist and she has been for quite some time. But she's also a New South Wales only master trainer. So our master technicians are the ones that do all my A-listers. So you know we had Gina Liano here yesterday. So my master sprays are the ones that we actually send to do those types of people. They're your must get right hands. So Hannah is the person that actually trains them in New South Wales, so she's you know she's pretty good at what she does. So please welcome to the stage Hannah Jacker, and Hannah is going to talk to us about contouring. Come on, Hannah, out you come, don't be too shy. One of the things that uh, Launchpad is designed to do is to give people that have never had any public speaking a chance to show their skills off. So. Make sure that you um, you uh, give Hannah, you know, some support because this is yes and this is no and this is I don't know and this is please don't ask me. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be interactive. You're supposed to get out of your education as much as what you put into it. So Hannah, tell me, when should we be looking to contour? Under sort of what circumstances? And let's bring Jess out here so we can have start having a bit of a look at what we're talking about. that come in, they just want that little bit of contouring, just a bit on the collarbones, a bit of the bust area, calf muscles, usually the most popular. That just makes that little, just those little areas just pop a little bit. And then, then you go to like your glamour um, and bikini style contouring. So as just here, we'll, you know, just the things like Miss Universe and model contests, they just need that full sort of contoured look so that when they're on stage, they just makes everything look a lot tighter and a lot more toned. And then it is for bodybuilders. So that's a quite an obvious one. Bodybuilders just need their muscles to look as defined as possible. So sometimes just the spray tan can make them look a little bit flat on stage. So if we just enhance the shadows when they're on stage, that makes them look more contoured and more toned so that they have, I guess, a better chance of winning. So. Absolutely, and we all know the Miss Universe competition, there's like a mark in, you know, in it. So sometimes it, that little bit of edge is uh, certainly what you need. And as Selenos, do we have sprays here? Do we have some sprays in fact? Oh, oh, this is great. This is, yes, this is good. So one of the things that you find that, you know, in the market today is that perhaps we're not getting the, the large KPIs or the amount per tan that we used to get. And so we need to value add to that. So Hannah, you, you, you're certainly on charge for your... Definitely. Your definitely. Yeah. And then it depends on how much contouring you do is how much extra you charge. But most people would you know, be adding, you know, almost double their tanning price on just a good, good contouring. So you're pushing your you profit up as a salon owner, which is great because it doesn't take long to, to learn and Hannah's going to show you um, some of the steps um, through that, which is great. Now, Hannah, different ways to contour? Yes, so there's three um, popular ways to contour. So you can use a manual brush, which is similar, I guess, when you're doing your face contouring, same sort of concept there. And then you've got your airbrush, which is what we're using today. And then if you've got a really good gun, you can just turn it to the side. Um, just on an angle like that and then that will create a surface spray so that you can actually control with it. So you can just go home, check what you've got, have a play and be able to see whether you need to go for something like this, which is actually going to give the more dramatic definite lines, which is what you're going to see here on Jess. Um, or that you can certainly go for just your regular spray gun and just give that a little bit more of a natural look. So what we're going to see here today is that, obviously if you can't tone it, tan it, because I'm, seriously, I'm that busy these days, I'm lucky to get to the gym. So you can get that six pad of abs out and we'll spray them on me later. But one of the things I really like is that um, we're going to show you just dramatic, how dramatic it looks, but the next day it actually can look very natural. So as you saw earlier, I actually pointed out that we've done some definition work down my leg, and so you can actually see there's a very light definition down there, and it looks quite natural. That, I don't have muscles, which is great. And also down my arm as well. So the whole nice thing about that is I can actually get a look going on for the day later. It looks really natural. I look like I've got a nice line of muscle going on, but it, it's all straight hair. So, it's so Hannah, let's go. So we're going to start off with the face. So we generally do um, the face by hand, just because um, you can get a little bit more of a natural look. And just, it's just safety first, I guess you should say. While Hannah's actually going through and showing us uh, what we're, how to do this, we're actually using definition and that's our new range that we're using for bodybuilders. 
So one product can do a lot of things and you'll find with better training we try and do that for you as a cell on owner. So this is going to look really dark because remember we've still got to spray her and then tomorrow like she's got a rinse and then tomorrow we need this to look natural. So it's going to look really dramatic while we're doing it. So Hannah, where are we actually uh, drawing our line on Jess? Just in that hole of the collarbone. So basically we're contouring anything that you want to have a shadow is where you're going to put the contour. Same as your face makeup. Anything you want to be highlighted, you're going to put a highlighter. Anything that you want to draw in and more tone, you got to contour. So this looks a little bit crazy now, but once she showers, it won't look this Dramatic. So we get them to do the fishy faces, which is what's going on there. And so you can actually see where you want to draw your line. Obviously, we want to push back um, any area underneath um, Jess, just to highlight that. It's actually a contouring brush. So just a makeup contouring brush that you can get at a makeup shop. And one of the reasons we don't spray the face anymore is that, you know, pretty much the FDA guidelines are saying that without some research and without all the safety stuff, don't do it, so we don't. Because I'm a health professional first and I'm a sprayer second, so we don't spray the face anymore. And I think that'll become industry standard pretty soon. So now Hannah's got our new nifty little compressor gun. How cool is this? And she's going to step us through the, the next part of the process. Just come around the side there, Hannah, so we can actually see what you're doing. Just giving it a quick test just to make sure it's fine. So one thing to remember with contouring, don't be scared. You have to get quite close, otherwise you're not going to get that contour line. And like as I say, we're going to do it um, quite traumatic today so that you can actually see what we're doing. But tomorrow, it definitely looks really natural because you won't have that line because what you generally do is you'll contour, then you spray tan over your top so that everything blends together. We can always just do half a Jess so you can see half a contour with Jess. Jess has worked with this for a while and um, the nice thing about Jess is that she's got, uh, got used to us demanding things that uh, are, are a bit creative. So Jess has been a Miss Universe contestant and so we like to uh, use our Miss Universe girls um, when we work with them because it's all about empowering women um, and training in town is all about making sure that we can help wherever we can and the Miss Universe pageant is obviously renowned for that as well because the girls don't only get up there in their bikinis which I would never do but they have to do a lot of public speaking and all those sorts of things as well it really challenges them and that's why we decide to be a part of that. So basically what we're doing here is two ways you can contour your right? So you want to contour a little bit further out if you want broader shoulders and then you want to bring it in that little bit closer if you want to narrow those shoulders in. So always go underneath, always go with the top so that you're going to get that hollow look tomorrow. Fantastic. And the next one's one I really like. It's like if, you've got to, if you want some girls to be standing out a bit more, then we can make that happen too. And if you don't want them to be standing out as much, we can make that happen too. So let's, uh, let's give Jess a bit more cleavage. Yeah. Uh -huh. While Hannah's doing that, you can see the difference already that we're starting to see between the contoured and the non-contoured side, that that um, collarbone is really popping out on Jess. So what we're doing in the middle there, that's also just going to draw everything in as well. It's going to give that like cleavage line tomorrow. So as you can see, um, go a little bit more dramatic, just so we can see. Obviously, they won't have their top ones that get that little bit lower, so that when they push up, you'll get that shadowed effect. Okay, and next we're up to the six pack. Now, I love this, and my husband likes that. And you know, when you push up against the wire fence and they've got their six pack pack, well, we can be a bit more sophisticated than that, so I like this. So you see what Hannah's getting her to do is actually lift up her arms so we can lengthen the torso. So we can stretch it up, we can get right in under here so the torso looks between here and here. If you've got a very long torso, um, we can actually shorten it by moving it down. So we can actually contour it to do different shapes for different people. So we can do all sorts of 
things with contouring, we can um, actually we can actually make um, you know your hips look uh, uh, more defined and longer, which is what I like. Um, height is not the thing I was blessed with. So in order to make my legs look longer, I like to get Hannah to draw sort of from the groin right up, which is what we'll do next. And then we can bring in that leg line. So it's all like me that's nice and short. You'd be drawing that right high. Jess has obviously got legs that, you know, are taller than what I am, and so we can actually drop that down and cut them off if we want to. The next one we're going to do, we're going to keep moving pretty quickly because we've only got five minutes left, is we're going to go to the bicep. This is a really nice one because you can actually get a really nice long length of the arm happening. This one we generally do quite dramatic um, because tomorrow, it's actually going to just give um, Jess that she has this massive bicep without having to do all the work. Um, and with a female, obviously we're lengthening it, whereas a male, we go a little bit, what we do with a male is we bulk it up, which we'll quickly show you on the screen later on. Which is great. And then we're going to move on to our next, <laughs> I know it looks great before and after, it's good. The back, now this is a really nice while Hannah goes through and does the back for us, I'll um, take the pressure off her a little bit and describe why, when we would do that. Um, there's a lot of backless dresses out now, you notice with the Oscars and the Logies and even wedding gowns now, they've got that really long backless look. And the whole idea is to draw the eye all the way down the back. So most of the dresses sort of sit, you know, just on the top of your buttocks there. So it draws your eye down so you look like a lean, like a smile, so we get that whole look going on. Particularly now too with backless dresses, people starting to wear their hair up, which was a different trend. And so again, you've got that nice long um, look happening. And I've actually started to contour the back of the neck to try and get that length going as well. And so that's a really nice thing going on there. And my favourite is we're going to jump jump to pretty quickly. And see there, she's even, see Hannah's really tricky. She's just gone and put a little line down the middle and it's just made it look a little bit better again. So we're not going to tell you all our secrets, but every now and again there's going to be one come out, isn't there Hannah? Yeah. <laughs> so the next one we're going to do is the legs. Now we call this our Miss Universe stance because that's how they stand. They get the whole thing going and the whole twist. And so you'll notice on a lot of the photos and things that we have of Teague and Martin that she's got some really nice shadowing down the arms, down the legs. And the whole idea is that they give them just that little bit more. So we generally go into like an F shape. This is following the contours of the body. So once this is developed tomorrow, it looks like we've got muscle tone all the way from the top to the bottom. We might just flip through the slides for the boys while we're going, Bethany. So boys are very different. Um, what you're going to do with guys is you're going to square everything off. And what that does is bulk it up. So we'll keep flicking through and you'll see what will happen. is It will really just square it off and then the pet pops out. Um, with the um, arms of guys, obviously to make it bulk up and look shorter, we're going to do everything just in half the time, half the length of a, of a girl. I love my job. This is Callan who we spray tan and he's won all the bodybuilding awards and so the definition that we're using to contour in is one that he helped me design. It's, I'm not a bodybuilder, you can tell that. Um, so he helped me design the product to, to uh, Define, but also to use for bodybuilders. So all our fizzy girls and our, our girls that uh, do a lot of photo shoots use that. And this is the one that he likes, like, to get in nice and fine. We do a lot of contouring on him. And as we keep flicking through, we do the opposite to boys to girls. We square it all off yeah, and we make the look broader. Same thing for boys, we square everything off, we shorten it all up. Now Hannah, I want you to talk me through how do we choose what product to contour with and how do we choose that against what we teach already with your product choice? So basically you need to start with picking the usual product you would to say spray tan Jess. She's quite pale naturally. So we're going to go, because she's a skin type one, we're going to pick her, her colour for her skin first and then we're going to generally go about two to three depending on what she's doing the contouring for, darker just for the contouring. 
So we normally, with our, our skin types, like, you know, we, we design the product to Mediterranean tan for it to be a no-brainer, so you pick the light for the light, which is Nicole Kidman. Um, the skin type two is your medium, you choose a medium product, and the skin type three is you choose the dark end of the product. That's probably, you know, that's not rocket science. But what we're going to contour with is something a little different and a little um, darker. So we're just going to flick on through now to the very last uh, slide, which is our bodybuilders. Um, the definition is what I was talking about there. You can see that um, under lights, that product should actually be a lot lighter and it's actually got more definition in it. So we can use the same product to contour with that we can actually use to spray with our, our bodybuilders. And just run us through in two seconds really quickly how you spray your bodybuilders. So basically with a bodybuilder, um, you usually do it over three days and you just repeat the process. So you contour, then spray, they'll sleep in it overnight, then they'll get up in the morning, quick shower, contour spray, then contour spray again. And then so the day of the competition, they either just keep the spray on or they shower. It's personal preference, and then they start putting their, um, their creams and whatnot on. So. Fantastic. Thanks, Hannah. Please give Hannah a massive round of applause. I think she does an amazing job. And if you'd like to find out more about contouring and education, please come over to Stand 1800. We're under the Big Solaire banner because they're big distributors for us. We're helping them out and we'd love to see you. Thank you.